All right. Well, I'm Clint Steele. I'm a business rep um, for Local 85 Plumbers and Pipe Fitters here in Northern Michigan. Um, the United Association is a parent organization that represents plumbers and pipe fitters throughout the country and Canada. Um, I myself uh, concentrate on the northern counties of northern Michigan through Local 85. So um, what we do is, uh, is train apprentices and, and journey workers in the field of plumbing and pipe fitting. Um, we also have an apprenticeship that concentrates more on uh, the HVAC, heating, ventilation, air conditioning um, side of our, of our industry. So um, we typically do a five-year uh, apprenticeship program uh, here, right, right here in Northern Michigan in Traverse City uh, for the plumbers and pipe fitters, um, starting out at about $17 an hour uh, for a brand new apprentice. Uh, and working our way, you'd work your way through a, a five-year program. Um, the way it's structured is a 5% wage increase every six months uh, until you turn out of the program. In a, a typical uh, base rate or uh, hourly rate uh, for a plumber or pipe fitter in Northern Michigan right now is about $35 to $40 an hour uh, plus benefits. So if you're interested in the skilled trades, uh, if you're interested in working with your hands uh, in construction, if you like being outside um, and, and not in an office setting, it's typically a, a very good career path for you uh, for you to pursue or to look into for sure. Mm -hmm. And those benefits start right away when they start their apprenticeship program, correct? Correct. Yeah, the benefits start day one. Um, you start contributing to a, a defined benefit pension plan or the contractor that you're working for does on your behalf, um, as well as uh, uh, full health care for you and your family. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, one of the best parts about the uh, apprenticeship training is that it's a true apprenticeship uh, accredited by the Department of Labor, meaning that it's uh, of no cost uh, to an apprentice. So at the end of your five years, uh, you'd have uh, zero debt or zero student loans that you'd be responsible for. Um, and you'd come out with that training and be ready, be ready for a long career in, in whichever skilled trade that you choose. Mm -hmm. So definitely a, definitely a highlight uh, of the structure that we have for our apprentices. Yep. And they can start right after high school, correct? As long as they're 18, have a driver's license or a, yeah, uh, correct. You graduate high school or have a GED. Yep. That's right. The only requirements, uh, uh, high school diploma or GED, uh, driver's license is a big one. Obviously you got to get to and from work. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much a necessity have to have that uh, pretty much anything you do. But, uh, but yeah, other than that, no requirements. You can apply um, at any time year round on our website, um, uaLocal85.org. Uh, there's an application um, uh, button that you can click on on the website and it'll walk you through uh, how to fill out the application, how to submit it along with everything that you need to submit with it. Um, and we typically would take a new class of apprentices up north here uh, once every year. Uh, we, we'd be looking for anywhere from eight to 10 uh, new apprentices every year. So, so the application process is open year round. Um, typically take that new class or select that new class uh, right about this time of year coming into the busy season for construction. Mm -hmm. And those classes in Northern Michigan are right over at Traverse City Central High School. They're attached. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So we have a training center here. Um, we have a, a classroom along with a, a shop setting uh, to kind of hone the, the hands-on skills um, or the hands-on portion of, of what we do. Uh, but yeah, it's right here, right here in Traverse City, right at Central High School, um, along with a lot of the other skilled trades in the area. So let's say I get a diploma before I turn 18. Would I be able to start earlier than that? You would definitely be able to apply earlier than that. Um, typically, we run into um, the issue or the age limit. The issue is, is typically with the employers. Um, they require a, a minimum age of 18. But if you were, uh, you know, if you hadn't turned 18 quite yet, you, you can still apply. Uh, and, and I would suggest that you do. Um, the typical process to get rolling in the apprenticeship takes takes a little bit of time. So chances are by that time you would, uh, you would be able to, or you would, you know, hit the, hit the age limit of 18. So. 
Clint, are there any ways for um, kids who are interested, you know, like even at this age to go job shadow or so I know it's a work site, so there's safety, you know, issues that may come into play, but. Yeah, um, we've, we've done, we've done some similar things to that in the past. Um, like you say, the tricky part is, is liability bringing, uh, you know, bringing anybody that's not safety trained onto a job site. Um, but what we've done in the past is during our apprenticeship um, training, you know, here at our training center, we would, we could bring classes through um, or groups of students through um, to kind of see what we do uh, in the training, which, you know, for the most part is what we do on, on the job site. So um, we've done that in the past. It's, you know, it's pretty popular uh, from the students who have, you know, had interest in doing it. Um, they, they do learn a lot and they get to see in person, um, you know, kind of what you'd be doing on a job site. What would you say is um, your favorite part of the job, Clint? And what would you say is the most challenging part of, the, of, of being a plumber out working? Plumber pipe fitter. Yeah, my favorite part, um, the people that, that I've worked with uh, or, or are working with currently, um, they're all in it for the same reasons that I am. Uh, we like to do it. We like to work hands on, you know, hands on. Um, and, and being outside in the summertime working construction, um, you know, it's hard to beat that, uh, you know, especially when it's nice out in the wintertime, it can get a little hairy, but, uh, uh, you know, outside of that, it's the setting changes. I'm not working on one job, you know, for 30 years, I'm, I'm moving from job to job. So the scenery changes, the people change, um, the challenges change. So, um, my opinion on, on the biggest challenge, um, in plumbing and pipe fitting and probably across the construction um, industry would be the physical aspect of it. Um, it does, it does require some, you know, physic, physical, uh, you know, lifting in cases um, and being able to, uh, to navigate through some, you know, some tight areas occasionally. Um, and, and that can present a challenge in, in has um, that, that most of our contractors and our members have learned to deal with, but, uh, but that'd probably be the biggest challenge and something to understand if you're getting into any part of, um, you know, physical construction or the physical part of construction, for sure. So that's interesting to see, uh, see a building come together. You're working alongside all the other crafts, um, not just other plumbers and pipe fitters, but, um, you know, electricians, uh, sheet metal workers, masons, you really get to see the building come together, um, and you could be working outside, you know, and inside on the same job, depending on, you know, what, what part of the job you're, or what time frame part of the job that you're on. So that's a great, great question for sure. Pretty much any skilled trade that you decide that you want to pursue is going to have uh, some, some form or, or uh, another of training, whether it be an apprenticeship or otherwise right here in Northern Michigan. So uh, I definitely encourage you to, you know, to jump on the website, um, whether it be, whether you want, want to be a plumber or pipe fitter, or if you even want to reach out to us, uh, we can, we can steer you in the right direction on, on any, any skilled trades, uh, in Northern Michigan as well. So.